So, total bullshit. Let me show you. I just press start. So the vein, well, you can't see, but it's aligned here. Okay. I'll try to show you. This is plugged correctly over there on the left. And if you look at the heartbeat, you can see that it's complete bullshit. Unless, the, yeah, absurd, absurd. Look at this. I'm an athlete, by the way, so my resting heart rate is about 40. And I've been using that after and before every workout for about 10 days. And I work out twice a day. Uh, and it worked for about 10 days, and now it starts to fail. And so it's probably going to show some completely absurd measurement right now. Uh, let's wait. Okay, so 68 is not my... <laughs> It's not my heart rate right now, it must be around probably 48. I'm gonna show you the memory in the last few minutes. So you see right now it's 7.55 p.m. Okay, on 2.25, February 25th. So to access the memory, you do that and then you press M. So you go back to the memory. So for now, that's the average, the, the average of the three last ones. 88, like, <laughs> and so I'm gonna show you the previous ones. So this is the last one I just took, right? Look, 7.55, so 124, 78, 78 would be a little high, but okay, 68 is too high, and look, 55, uh, 7.55, three minutes before, I would have been at 92, like ultra low, um, 61 is almost possible, but I think it's too high, because it cancels all these double beats. Okay, so that was 7.52, and now the one before that, uh, <laughs> 134, I was working out if I was doing that, uh, 7.49, okay, just a few minutes before, 100, so ultra low, and then 7.47, this time, this time these two are normal, this is too high, 61, 7.44, so completely absurd, 97, like you're, 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 <laughs> 744, let's see, 743, way too low, absurd, 743, 741, One f this time it's the opposite, okay, ultra high uh, blood pressure, even the, the di diastolic also, 62, and that was before. So that one was normal, but it was, uh, you know, this morning, 10.43. So this one was normal. So it started to fail this afternoon. And uh, this is plugged here. So it was probably after a workout, because 1.30 is a little high. Uh, and, and that's... No, that was after a workout, I guess. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's inconsistent. But it used to be okay for 10 days. And, and, now, and now it's absurd. Uh, yeah, that was... That was okay. Uh, it was after a workout. Yeah, before before that, after a workout, that's normal. But uh, before that was normal. Uh, for 10 days, and now it started to fail. So I just want to say... Uh, it's probably not very reliable or du durable, you know. Um, like, you look at... Uh, so that is plugged correctly, okay? Um, and that is aligned, right? No problem. I did align the, the veins, you know? the And and I did strap it uh, just tight enough, not crazy. And it's aligned correctly. And so I checked the, the tube. It's So this is the Conquest blood pressure machine. The cuff. The cuff is too big for me, but I make it work. However, when you go to pull it on, it gets caught on this lip of material. And it, you really need to like, it's a pain when you're trying to use one arm to try to get it onto your left arm. It, so I'm gonna try to trim this with a razor blade. Um, it just needed to be cut off this material. Um, so I think when 
if I need to replace this in the future because I've already been using it, I'm not going to return it. Um, I think I'm going to look for something that has a smaller cuff or at least options on sizes. So just beware, it's not a bad product, but it is frustrating when you're trying to take your blood pressure because you feel like it's high and you're wrestling with the cuff and moving around so much that like your heart's beating even faster. <laughs> So just be aware of that. Other this is such a helpful at-home blood pressure reader. Um, as you can see, it is so easy to read and interpret all of the numbers. And it has this handy little chart up here with that's color-coded to let you know what zone your heart rate falls in. Um, the info packet is super helpful. It tells you how to set up, how to use, um, what form, kind of how you should be sitting, how to use and align um, the cuff, which is super flexible. It has this great sticking velcro. Um, but it's so easy to put on yourself one-handed, not an issue at all. Um, and it also comes in this handy travel pack, so you can easily kind of unclip. It's hard to do one-handed. Easily kind of undo, pack it all up neatly, and put it in this travel pack.